so let's turn it on. Hey, are you ready to start a new video? Yes. Okay, let's make a video. Two. Yeah. Hi guys. Welcome again. For my next video, I will show you how to install the USB charger in Voltmeter 40 and Max. And as always, the link for this will be in the description below. Ito yung package niya. Check muna natin kung anong nasa package. Para sa Voltmeter na ito at sa USB charger, you will get the USB charger and then the voltmeter. Kasama rin sa package ay yung takip para sa USB charger natin. A bunch of screws and yung para sa ito. Sa likod. These blue ones. And then for the last, ito rin. Kung saan may lalagay yung dalawang ano. Dalawa. Hindi ito magagamit kasi hindi siya kakasya. So, you can also install this directly. Doon sa gilid at magkatabi sila. Like I said, kasi hindi siya kakasya dito. Ayan, medyo malaki siya. Pwede na natin ilagay directly dito. Yung isa, nagtito rin yung kabila. Alright, next is our tools. For the tools, para mas madali yung trabaho natin since gagawa ka ng circle, you will need a hand drill, kahit ano. If meron kayo nito, pwede kang gumamit ng hole saw and find the right size. Alright, install na natin. Let's start. Pero first, tatanggalin muna natin yung windshield natin. Yung side mirror, yung bracket, at yung whole front plastic part, kagaya last time, doon natin nilalagay yung wirings. We can see the under part at kung saan tayo magdadrill ng butas dito and then we will run the wires from there hanggang dito. Okay? Let's go! The hand drill, it's important that you find the right size kung ano yung fit. For me, this works best. The 32mm hole saw. Alright? Siyempre, next step is to install Also, to be drill bit, right. and then make sure not tight check. Kaya tanggalin muna natin yung sticker sa loob. Imamark natin kung saan siya lalagay. Okay. 
make sure now. Safe. Salale. ilalagay natin yung voltmeter at USB charger natin. Medyo marubi rin yung sa likod. Alright. Time to install. Ito muna ilalagay natin. Let's fit it. Kasama na rin yung takip niya. Fetch the wires. Papa kita ko sa inyo paano siya ilalagay dot dito at installation nito. Ito yung wires natin dun sa voltmeter at charger. Ayusin mo na natin yung wire at ito. Dito natin siya isasaksak at ito yung ilalagay dot. Ito yung apat na parang socket na lalagyan natin ng wire at sya yung isasaksak dun sa USB charger at voltmeter so pakikita nyo nasa ilalim yung Pagkatapos i-secure yung blue uh, socket dito sa sa yellow wire natin, puputulin natin dito. May kli lang. Kasi ang gagawin ko later, uh, kakombine ko yung dalawang ground wire at yung dalawang papunta dun sa isang live wire. Pagkatapos natin ikabit yung mga yellow wires or cut any color wire dito sa mga blue ano ba tawag dito? Basta yun yun. 
So bakit ko nga ba pinutol at may clear lang yung ginawa ko? Eh, mahaba naman yung landing dito. Kasi for the negative or ground wires, isasabay ko since dalawa yung unit natin. So ito, ikakombine ko yung isa sa kabilang ground wire at ito namang isa sa kabilang ground wire. At para isa na lang yung wire na tatakbo galing sa voltmeter at charger papunta sa sa body ground natin. Pangalawa naman, ito naman, yung isa for the positive um, wire. At actually, yung dalawa na ito for the positive wire. Sila yung tatakbo sa brown wire kung saan ko itatap para gagana yung dalawang units. Alright? Next, i-combine na lang natin yung dalawang wire. Make sure na mahaba yung wire natin para... Ready na tayo for the installation dun sa wire natin. So, saan may kakabit? Mapapansin mo. Alright. Yan. Mapapansin mo. Yung isang unit, nakalagay dun yung positive at negative. Yung dito, nasa right yung positive at nasa left yung negative. Sa kabila dun, baliktad. So, make sure na hindi, hindi mo sila mapagpapalit at tama yung paglalagyan mo. Like so, that is the negative. At katabi niya lang naman yung isang negative, kaya hindi tayo. Yep. Secured sila. Mamaya ka na. Next naman is for our positive. Ito yung itatap natin dito sa brown wire, which is ito. Mamaya. Since isang, isang pulley lang yung wire ko, make sure na hindi ko sila may pagpapalit. You can see na yan. So this positive wire will go. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> Ang next na gagawin natin is to, to tap the negative wire dun sa ground. So as you can see, dito sa akin, I have the negative placed on the left and on the right. Okay? So make sure na hindi natin tama yung pagkakuha natin ng wires. Okay? This one is the positive. Ito yung negative. Alright, so saan ba natin ilalagay? <coughs> For me, you can also put it here. Pero mas bet ko siya dito. You can put it there. Stop the wire there, and we're good. Loosen it up. And tap it there. Gagawin mo lang isilalagay siya sa ilalim. And tighten it. Okay. Nalagay ko na yung wire ko dun sa ilalim. And all you have to do is tighten the bolt. Make sure na nandun yung wire sa ilalim. Nakatap talaga siya. Next is the positive wire. Ito, matali lang po. <coughs> for this part naman, for the positive, all you have to do is 
unplug this, yung brown wire. At itatap mo sa ilalim yung sa pang yellow wire natin. This one. Tapil ito. Right. Once you have your other wire ready, yung positive. Pasok mo sa ilalim. Ito sa brown wire. Make sure na fit yung pagkapasok niya para hindi siya matagal dyan yung drive. And then yung ground naman natin is nandito. So, first time testing it. Hope if it works. Alright, one, two, three. Perfect. So, gumagana yung voltmeter natin at yung USB charger. Alright. Finally, let's start it. Voltage is normal. Kapit na natin yung plastic at windshield. So guys, we have finished installing the voltmeter and USB charger for NMAX. This can be applied to any motorcycles, not just for NMAX. So ito siya. I just, try, I just finished testing it using my phone. <coughs> so let's turn it on. Alright. Starting it up. Good. Let's try plugging in my phone if it charges. It does. Alright. Indicator lights. As you can see it changes. Alright. <coughs> so guys, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Right, that wraps it up. My installation video for the voltmeter and USB charger is finished and I hope you enjoyed it very much. The installation is pretty easy if you have the right tools like the hand drill and the whole saw set. So, and if you have any questions guys, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to answer. Alright, thank you for watching.